I'm having my morning walk along the Falls Creek in the Yao Tang on the south side of downtown Vancouver. I want to show you a unit in this 11-story building right by the water. It just looked like a normal condo from the outside, but it only has 11 suites in the entire building. One suite per floor, so it is very exclusive. This is a 2,000 square foot, three bedroom, three bathroom condo. We are just going to walk past all the bedrooms because the spotlight is really here in the kitchen, dining and living area. Look at this view. A very spacious area, lots of windows, a permanent water view in downtown Vancouver. It is actually very hard to find a unit with all these things together. This particular unit has changed hands last year in July 2022. What do you think the sold price was? This is a 15-year-old building. In terms of suite finishes and building quality, this is just an average condo. It is not one of those luxurious upscale condos. It only took 46 days to sell it. And the sold price was $2.62 million. What's more interesting is to look at the appreciation of this particular unit because it is a common concern about how much an expensive condo unit can appreciate. This building was completed in 2008 and this unit first appeared in the resale market in 2011. It was sold in five days at $1.765 million. Then it was subsequently resold at $2.62 million last year. So the appreciation was a whopping $855,000 in 11 years. Let's zoom out and take a look at the overall Vancouver West area. The Vancouver West area starts from around Canby Street all the way to the west, and it includes the Vancouver Downtown Peninsula as well. Yale Town is over here on the south side of the peninsula. The typical price of a condo, the benchmark price, in Vancouver West area was $851,800 in October this year. We know that 2023 is a tough year for real estate market all across Canada because of all the interest rate hikes. How do we compare this benchmark price with the peak one and a half year ago just before all the rate hikes? In April 2022, the benchmark price for a condo in Vancouver West was just over $900,000. So the rate hikes have brought prices down roughly 6% from the peak. Here's something really interesting. If we compare October 2023 to a year ago, prices were actually up around 3%. Data is suggesting that the bottom of the Vancouver West market already occurred near the end of 2022, and we are now on the road to recovery. We will have to wait and see if this is the case in 2024. Before we end this episode, let me show you a graph of the average residential prices in Greater Vancouver area from 1977 to 2023. Detached home had a lot of dramatic ups and downs over the last two decades. But like I always say, it goes up and down, up and down. But the long-term trend is always up. Condo apartments follow a similar trend. It just doesn't look as dramatic as this graph because the price point is much lower. Let's zoom into the past two years. You can see that the Vancouver market has been very resilient and it's quite clear that it has recovered from the bottom. In fact, prices are not that far from their peak. At the moment, the market is still very quiet, with sales activities roughly 40% down from the peak. Once sales activities pick up and the market gets busy again, 
I don't think it would take very long for prices to surpass that peak from one and a half years ago. Are we seeing a similar kind of recovery in Toronto market? I'm going to do an in-depth analysis with a lot of valuable market insights. I don't think you want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell now.